Hello, hello, hey everybody, um, Stacy here, and um, I've got some colors mixed up here, I want to do a, another flip cup, I got new canvas, yay, new canvas, no more redoing old canvases, well, I am going to be redoing old canvases, but it's nice to have an option, <laughs> this has only got four colors in it, um, and they're regular old colors, I just been playing around with this combination for some time now and haven't ever quite gotten what I wanted out of it, but this time I thought maybe it might be the charm. This is uh, got Quinacrinone Magenta, Doxazine Purple, 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art, and uh, Vermilion by Master's Touch. And that's the only colors in it. And I got three cups. And I thought maybe the reason I hadn't been getting what I wanted it's because I had too many other colors in. I really want that gold and purple kind of thing. And um, so I thought, well, maybe I've just had too many other colors going on. Too. It's too complicated. So this time I cut it way down and I thought, you know, we'll see what happens this time. On a smaller canvas with just, um, you know, those basic colors in it and not a lot else. For some reason, it's real hard for me to pare down how many colors I use. I always want to use a bunch of colors because I like a bunch of colors. And I get to picking colors and I think, oh, well, you know, those four go well together. But so will this one and this one and this one. And so the next thing you know, I got six or eight. And <laughs> sometimes that's not the only, you know, that's not the best way to do things. So I thought, well, I'll pare it way down and see what happens then. And, um... I'm just looking to see. I've got silicone in the bottom of each one of these cups, like I always do. And I was thinking, I always say my regular mix, and I'm assuming y'all know what that means. If it's not a Shelly Art thing, then my regular mix refers to one part paint, one part PVA, and four or five parts Floetrol with silicone added. That's my regular mix, um, if I say that. It, unless it's a Shelly Art thing, and then, of course, it's my bright tone varnish, you know, uh, gluten paint deal. Well, I'm tired of waiting. Um, let's go. Ooh. Well, I like that. Different. Oh, don't even think about pouring off that edge. Ah! Don't like that when that happens. You got some a little bit extra paint in there. Don't like to waste paint. Paint's expensive. It's money I could be using on more paint. I really like the way that gold's operating through everything else. And, and created that brownish color in there. It's almost like I put copper or raw sienna or something in it. Um, cool. Because I didn't put any brown. But I can definitely see it. That stink. Okay, I've got it dammed up on that side. Because I don't want any more leaking over than I have to have until... Till it's time to pour paint off and then see all those cells I saved over there. They may have to go off eventually, but not until eventually happens. Because in the meantime, I'd like to, you know, try to pick what I have to pour off. Lately, I've, I've been so frustrated because um, I've done some pours that were so pretty you know, I, I had trouble picking what to pour off, and I didn't want to pour anything off, and, you know, you have to pour stuff off. That's part of it. This is really beautiful, I think. Um, but I'm not pouring things off until um, I choose to, and I'm going to pick how I do that. That's pretty... Um, I'm going to pour just a little bit down here off and, um, ugh, 
is really pretty. I don't know. There, I could pour some off that corner and it wouldn't change very much. Because we have to pour stuff off. It's part of the deal. But I like what this is doing on both sides. These interesting cell uh, groupings that are happening on both sides. I don't want to uh, lose either one of those. But um, uh, And those pretty gold cells up at the top. Definitely don't want to knock those off. Uh, it's starting to do that finger thing that I don't like, so I'm not pouring any more off. See, this over here, I don't like that. So I'm not going to pour any more off, because once it starts doing that finger thing, it'll screw up your whole piece. Right now, that, that it was just a hint of it, and I caught it. I'd rather have something crazy than have those fingers happen. Because that ruins your whole piece. I don't care what you say. It just, it, it just looks like paint on a canvas thing. There's no order to it. There's no beauty to it. To me, it, it looks like something a kindergartner could do. So, if I feel like I'm fixing to head into that place where you have a choice between pouring paint off and having those finger-like projections come in, I'd rather not pour the paint off and have it craze than have a piece that didn't craze and has those nasty little finger things in it. Look at those pretty gold cells we got. I don't know, that might, that might sound crazy, but I just can't stand those little finger-like things. They ruin the natural um, picture that your piece is trying to become. And I think they happen when you pour it off enough and you continue to pour. At least that's when I think they've happened to me. A little vein of gold right down to the middle of that. And some cool cells popping up in there. Cool. There's some more gold cells. pretty much covered. I'm going to get y'all down and let y'all see. See what you think. I'm going to turn off the big light so we have less of a glare. I still have a glare from that other light, but um, this is less of a glare. That gold is so beautiful. Look at that. And it just goes everywhere. And I keep meaning to put interference in there, but it almost looks like I did. But I didn't. Look at those cells. How interesting. How pretty up close. Mmm. More little gold cells. Look at those pretty little magenta and purple ones. Cool. 
All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me here, and um, I appreciate you being here today. And um, I'll probably do another video before bedtime. That's three today. I like to do at least two a day. Um, anyway, I appreciate y'all being here, and uh, join me next time. Thanks a lot. Y'all have a great night. Bye-bye.